We are moving back in time, the past, where Viborg Tugtus or Sindsy Hospitalet was placed here. You can still feel the energy in the landscape here if you try to tune in. Even before having this information, I wondered what there was about this very simple and controlled side of the lake. Apart from the penitentiary, as time developed, industrialization grew on this side of the lake. And also the discharge of the sewers that landed in the lake. But let me help you picture this landscape. Vibo Penitentiary was established by Mayor Dissel, who in 1736 proposed the establishment of a manufactory. The house served as a penitentiary, labor institution, and factory. Beggars, thieves, and murderers toiled all day by looms and spinning machines and spent the night in rich bedrooms filled with vermin. It was also about getting the city going again, where much was still undeveloped after the great fire of 1726. It had first been planned to rebuild the fire-damaged courthouse for the purpose, but they chose to build a new one on a plot down by the lake. Not only the parliament, but also the priest could impose penitentiaries for immoral behavior. Even children who were disobedient to their parents could be deployed. It was decided that the prisoners should be awakened at four o'clock in the morning. However, in the winter at six, the evening meal should be done by eight. The working day began with the singing of a hymn and the evening ended with a prayer. On a Sunday, the prisoners were obliged to attend the church service, which was held in the church room on the first floor. From 1822, the official name was Vibor Tukt or Forbillingshus. The number of prisoners increased at 406 prisoners in 1844. 30 years later, in 53, the then more contemporary Horsens Tuktus was built as a replacement. And finally, in 1877, Vibor Tuktus was converted into a mental institution, or as you say, Sitsu Hospitalet. <laughs>